Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to concentrate on tens and we're going to do numbers up to 20. So tens with numbers up to 20. Let's look at our first example. Suppose you have this number here. 12. You've got the number 12. In fact, we're going to label the columns as well. We've got tens and units. The 2 is a unit and the 1 is a 10. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work out what is 10 more than 12. Let's write it down here. So what is 10 more than 12? So what is 10 more than 12? How are we going to do this? Well, notice by the number 10 is that this is a unit and the 1 is a 10. So therefore, if we're going to move forwards or backwards in tens, the unit should not change because that 2 is the same as this 0. The 2 should not change. However, the only thing that changes is the tens. In this case, it's a 1. So let's write down 12 here and we're saying more than so it's going to go forwards and it's going to go forwards by 10 so what we're doing is this 2 is going to remain the same so we can write this down as for this 1 this is what is going to change we're doing 10 more so this one has to go to the next one so 1 what comes after 1 the answer is 2 the answer is 22 Note this is similar to when we were doing one more. The only difference is we're not changing the units, but we are changing the tens. Right, on this side, we're going to do 10 less than 12. 10 less than 12. Now, how do we do this? Well, in exactly the same way. We write down 12 here. And because it's less than, we're going to go backwards. Now, don't forget, if we're dealing with a number like 10, which has got a 0, this 2 should not change. The same as the 2 on the other side. So we can write the 2 in. This 1 is a 10. We're saying 10 less than. So we have to go count backwards from 1. We've dealt with a 0 because a 2 has remained as a 2, we've now got 1 here. So, what is the number before 1? The answer is 0. So, we could actually put down 0 here. We don't, we don't normally, but we can put a 0 here. So, the answer is 2. And what we're going to do is, that was just to illustrate what we were doing. I'm going to rub out the 2. Okay. Uh, sorry, rub out the 0. The answer is 2. Now that should have been relatively clear to follow. What we are going to do is we're going to work through one more example so that we fully understand this. So now let's have a look at this number here. We've got the number 18. 18. Let's label it uh, as well. We've got the 8 is the unit and the 1 is a 10. Now what we're going to do on this side is 10 more than 18. Now how do we do 10 more than? Well as we've said, the 0 is a unit. So if we're going to go forwards and backwards in 10s, this 8 will not change. So let's start with the number 18. Let's go forwards. Don't forget we're doing more than, so we're going forwards. So we can write the 8 in, because the 8 is not going to change. The units, uh, sorry, the 10s, i.e. the 1, that will change, because this there is a 10 over here, 10s and units. So this number 1, we have to go 1, we have to count forwards by 1. So 1 plus 1 is, the next number is 2. 
So 18 becomes 28. The only thing changed was the 10. That is correct. Now let's have a look at this side. So what is 10 less than? 10 less than 18. Well again the same principles apply. We've got here a 10 and a unit. The unit is not going to change. Let's write number 18 down first. We're going to we're going to go backwards because it's less than. Because there's a 0, the 8 here doesn't change. So we can write that one in. As for on this side, well, we've got 1 here. We have to go backwards. How much are we going backwards by? We're going backwards by 1. Don't forget, we've done the units part. We're now doing the tens part. So 1, counting backwards, the answer is? Well, the answer is 0. But we don't normally write a 0. So let's get rid of that. The answer is 8. And that is correct. Now that should have been quite clear to follow. However, if you didn't understand that, please go through this tutorial again and again until you fully understand this. So that is how we do more than and less than in tens with numbers up to 20.